सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन टॉक समथिंग अबाउट प्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू गेट गुड एट प्रॉम्स एंड लाइक गेटिंग डीप इन टू प्रॉम सो दिस वुड बी माई वेरी फर्स्ट वीडियो अबाउट दी प्रॉम्स डेट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम नॉट गोन टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू राइट प्रॉम बट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर दैट आई यूज टू राइट प्रॉम सो एज यू हैव सीन मोस्ट ऑफ दी यूजर्स यूजेज ब्रैकेट्स इन ऑर्डर टू राइट प्रॉम यू हैव सीन मोस्ट ऑफ द यूजर्स यूजेज ब्रैकेट सो वॉट आर दीज ब्रैकेट्स एंड वाई आर दे यूज फॉर सो फॉर दिस आई वॉज जस्ट गोइंग ऑन टू गाइड ऑफ स्टेबल डिफ्यूजर as you can see i am on the guide of stable diffusion so these brackets are called attention control as you can see so what are they used for so there are two brackets used first the curved bracket and second the square bracket so in order to increase the attention on the word or the phrase in order to increase the attention curved bracket are used and in order to decrease the attention square brackets are used so what does this mean as you are clear that curved bracket are used to increase the model's attention and the square bracket are used to decrease attention so how to use it when you come to bottom you will see cheat sheet over here so when you use curve brackets on the words or the phrase that you want to keep attention on it will increase the attention by factor 1 is to 1 normally it will only read the phrase but if you put the bracket it will increase the at attention by 1 is to 1 and if you put put double brackets it will increase the attention by 1.21 as you can see the more bracket the more it will focus on the words or the phrase that you want to focus on and then if you use square bracket as you can see square bracket around the word or the phrase it will decrease the at attention as you can see it will decrease it will less focus on that word or the phrase and now the next thing you can to do is that if you add is to 1.5 as you can see over here then it will increase the attention factor by 1.5 it will focus lot on your word or the phrase if you come below 1 like 0.25 or 0.5 so it will decrease the attention factor it will focus less on that word this is how it is used example like it's already shown over here see this is the egg and bacon prompt so as you can see there are eggs and bacon as well and now you can see over here is to 1.5 and brackets is used and bacon without brackets so as you can see eggs is to 1.5 you can see there are lots of eggs over here and bacon there is less amount of bacons over here similar to that in this image you can see eggs and curved bracket bacon is to 1.5 so as you can see there are only two eggs over here compared to this image the rest is totally focused on bacons as you can see the quantity of the bacon is more than eggs over here and in this eggs are focused as you can see eggs are focused over here so this is how the brackets are used in order to so now that we know how to use attention controls like curved bracket and square bracket let's do it practical and let's see how does it works so here as you can see i was already trying you can see already i was trying on my prompts so let's start with the basics and let's see how does it generate images so first of all let's skip negative prompt as it is will only focus on positive prompt so here as you can see i was just generating octane render of grim reaper with sword and i just wanted dark graveyard theme ultra details and high detail and so on so this is the prompt that i am using so let's generate without attention control okay without curve bracket so let's generate so as you can see this is the image that we got as you can see it's not focused on dark graveyard theme it's only a grim reaper with a sword or something weapon like it so there is no dark graveyard theme over here as you can see now let's generate one more and let's try so now as you can see this is the second image that we got pretty cool image but still no graveyard theme it's just a surface with some stones so now let's add attention control like curve bracket and let's see what does it generates we'll try with single curve bracket first of all single curve bracket and let's see what does it generates we are still not close to that we still got a surface with stone and a dark green reaper now what we'll do we'll try to focus more on we'll add one more packet and let's see what does it generates as you can see over here it started focusing on the surface you can see graveyard sign over here over here on this side as well you can clearly see graveyard signs over here and over here as well and it started focusing on dark graveyard theme as well now what will we do we'll just try to add these numbers just like this 1.5 so let's see what does it generates so let's add the number is to first we will try on 1.5 only so let's see what does it generates 
so as you can see there is a lot of graveyard signs over here one mistake i did was that i used two curved brackets on this okay so now let's decrease the bracket and let's try and let's see what does it generates now now it should be a perfect image now and let's see okay now you can clearly see that uh, there is a less of graveyard like it's almost a graveyard theme dark graveyard theme but is less focused from earlier image like two brackets were more than enough for like this numbers let's try to decrease this to 1.2 and let's see what does we get we should get less amount of graveyard sign let's see what does we get okay now this is almost like you can tell that this is a perfect image as you can see grim reaper standing on something like a stone and a graveyard signs over here as you can see it is less focused than 1.5 the 1.5 we used more or less focused than double brackets and 1.5 so this is how the brackets are used the curved bracket and the square brackets these are called attention controls on the prompts okay in this video i'm only going on with curved brackets i'm not going on with square brackets because it will already be a long video so for square brackets i will make an another video for it and yeah this is it for now and I hope so you guys like the video and got to know how to use these attention controls and curve packets okay so this is it for this video and I will be back with more videos tomorrow till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys bye guys